Here's your good girl, Mabu. Mabu. Hi right, guys, Joel from Prepper in the Woods and today we're going to look at this company because I can't say the name. So, um, looking at the Outdoor Gear Review channel, they bought um, some small tables and some nice folding chairs. Their stuff was uh, one tigress, I can't afford that, so I went for some, some stuff a little bit smaller. So we're going to have um, a bit of a break from uh, walking in the woods and we're going to have a coffee. So I figured let's do the table first and uh, see how we get on. Right, so what you get is legs and that's going to be the table part. No instructions. So uh, I'm going to wing it. Bit of elastic which stays on, so that's good. You get uh, six panels. So let's come down now to the floor and see if we put it together, snap it together. Right, so there's a little bit in there. There's a little bit in there. And on the bottom of this, there's a little hole there. So that hole goes into that, which gives it its little uh, frame here. So I just need to uh, make this a little bit less, less as big. So more like, like that. And then that is like that. And then, what's going on? Ah, right. I'm going to give a close-up view. And there's your legs. That seems fine. Pretty sturdy. Not too hard at all to put together. I'll flip it over just so you can see it underneath. And then that's how you set it up. So it is what it is, table. Very sturdy, that's good. I'll put some coffees on this now and uh, have lunch. All right, so, table's done, looks nice, uh, very sturdy, so I'm happy with that. Next one, same company, I need to do a chair. Um, again, I seen this on another channel, so it could be a bit fiddly. I've never done this before. There are instructions. Ooh, the D-ring. Ooh, one thing. Right. So there are a little bit of instructions on the tag for the item. I'm probably going to save that or just practice with this a few times. But let's see if we can uh, uh, get this going now. Right. So gonna fill code loop around and. Oh my god, that's amazing. If that was it, I would be very impressed. Because that took no effort at all. If I had a transformer uh, sound for that, I would have done it. Right, so I think that's the way it goes. Just double check. Yep. So, on the back of it, so you got this pole here and these little tabs, and it does look double stitched and quite tough material on that. So, the real test of this is holding my weight because I'm a bit of a voluptuous man. Some say husky. Another last one might be in trouble. We'll have a look. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that other way around. It's all part of the game. So that's in that one. That's 
bits in that one. That's in that one. And that's in that one. So. That seemed to be the toughest part was getting this on, but it's supposed to be snug. Yeah, that's all in. I just want to double check because I don't want to break it and then look like it's this, this thing's full and it's not mine. Right, so will I fall over? That's probably what you guys are waiting for. See me get hurt. I know you guys are like. So I am 16 plus stone. Huh, that's alright. Alright, it holds me. So happy with that. So next is gonna be a cup of coffee. Trudy, what do you think about the chair? Comfortable. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. You're not worried about falling out or anything? Only if it's uneven ground or soft ground. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, it feels, feels nice. What do you think about the table? Yeah. That's Looks all right. The yeah. chair I thought was going to be a pain in the ass put together, but all the parts are snapped together. Oh, well that problem. makes it easier. Yeah. Cool. Keeps stuff off the ground, doesn't it? I'm just going to show you guys how I make a cup of coffee. That's really nice. At the moment it's not windy so I'm not going to bother with the windshield. But actually I am going to get Get out of there. Right, so I did have to use the windshield in the end, but that's fine. So this is all done now. So what I do is Take that off right there, and then you get some coffee. Just chuck that in, and that's about two tablespoons of chocolate uh, coffee. And then let that do its thing for a couple of seconds. And then what you do is. You get this, the cafeteria top, and this top here um, fits, majority of the cafeteria tops fit a Stanley cook set, 
Uh, I found that out a couple of years ago and been doing it, but I haven't seen too many videos on it on YouTube. So, but yeah, and then all you do is right on there, fits perfectly, and just slowly press down. done. I'll get one creamer. If you see me on um, uh, Facebook, I've been trying to get rid of a lot of um, my rat pack stuff and uh, some other bits and pieces because I have just too much kit now. So I've been trying to sell a lot. So check out my eBay if you can. one creamer and then that's for the missus. Here's your cup of coffee. Thank you. Um, no. Thank you. And then just a bit more for myself. And you can see it's fine. It's perfect. Happy days. All right, Judy, what do you think? Table seems good, sturdy. Um, keeps things off the ground, all good. Chair is comfortable. Um, the only thing is that um, it does sink into the ground a bit, but then that's just um, it's where you place it. So, but it is comfortable. So, table, chairs, very good. Happy with that. And I just want to show you guys how to make a nice little cafeteria cup of coffee in the woods. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, guys, also make sure you subscribed and you are, have notification turned on. Big, big problem with YouTube at the moment. No one's getting any views. Um, YouTube's not pushing any notifications at all. So uh, if you can, hit, subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below. That would help a lot. Let me know what you think about the stuff I showed today. And thanks guys for watching.